तव कथात तप्तजीवन कविरीडित कलमशापहम श्रवणमंगल श्रीमदात भुवि गृणंत ये भूरीदा जना श्री श्री रामकृष्ण कथामृत दि गॉस्पल ऑफ श्री रामकृष्ण रिकॉर्डेड बाय एम महेंद्रनाथ गुप्ता ए डिसाइपल एंड अपोसल ऑफ द मास्टर दक्षिणेश्वरे ठाकुर श्री रामकृष्ण तृतीय दर्शन श्री रामकृष्ण एंड दक्षिणेश्वर द थर्ड मीटिंग ऑफ एम विद द मास्टर सो यू वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट फोर केन्स ऑफ जीव बद्ध जीव मुमुखु जीव मुक्त जीव और नित्य जीव बोन सोल्स जो आर स्ट्रगलिंग फॉर लिबरेशन मुक्त जीव दो हैव लिबरेटेड नित्य जीव दो आर एवर फ्री नेवर गेट इन द बॉन्डेज एंड इज गिविंग द कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ ईच ऑफ देम देन ही गिवज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ a fish being caught in net so when the net is cast there are some fish who never get caught in the net they understand that once they get caught they will be finished so they simply don't get caught nitya mukta nitya jeev there are some who do getting caught some who struggle to escape and do escape he gives the example here do chatti dhabang dhabang kore jal theke biri jay takon jelera bole oi ekta mach mosto mach paliye gelo so the dramatic dhabang dhabang some of the big fish they some find some loop hole and then escape these are mukta jeev those who become free after getting caught in samsara they never get seriously entangled they escape then there are mumukshu jeev who are struggling to get liberated they are caught but still struggling they know the consequences of being caught in the net then the last is the baddha jeev those who are caught and do not make any effort to get free they think that they are very safe and finally they are killed cut to pieces fried and eaten <laughs> so all of us should be extremely careful we are being fried in samsara samsara anala the example given in the vedanta samsara anala dagdha burnt fried in the fire of samsara <laughs> in the yaksha prashna in the mahabharata the story is very interesting in the form of a story such ex- extraordinary pearls of wisdom are being uh, taught the pancha pandavas five of them five brothers were moving around they were feeling extremely thirsty and finding a pond they wanted to go and drink some water there was an yaksha a kind of a demi god was guarding this pond and told them don't drink unless i permit you unless you answer my questions but one by one they were so thirsty they ignored the warning of the yaksha drank water and fell down unconscious yudhishthira the eldest of them the wisest of them he waited and told the yaksha what do you want to say yaksha said i will ask you some questions you answer these questions and then i will permit you to drink then one by one he threw questions which form a, a wonderful compendium of questions and answers full of wisdom called yaksha prashna in mahabharata 
one question which is very famous often discussed often talked about is kimascharyam what is the wonder in this world <laughs> yudhishthira says the greatest wonder is every day we see hundreds of people getting killed dying because of so many causes but still the rest of the people who are alive think that they shall not die they shall be eternally existing nobody can think of his own death he is or her own death you can't think of your own destruction that's the peculiarity in the world which vedantically interpreted means that you are eternal undecaying undying you just don't die the feeling that you are deathless comes to you unconsciously though because you are in reality deathless na jayate mriyate va in the bhagavad gita it is neither born nor does it die undecaying deathless eternal immortal ियमंदिरमेशन and they desire immortality they want to live eternally they open the newspapers open the television and see devastation death ah oh, what a terrible thing a terrible calamity so many people were washed away by cyclone so many people were dead by lightning and you feel so sad the next moment you are moving around doing your own duties you never for a moment feel that you also may die this moment <coughs> people suddenly died at a young age people are extremely famous so many instances we see every day <clears throat> at such a young age what has happened to him why sudden heart attack suddenly infected by corona those who have comorbidity those who are old maybe 85 90 they survive a young person dies you feel so sad about it <clears throat> perhaps you are older than the person who is dead whose death report has come to you you may be older and you feel so sad so sorry oh he is younger than me by about 10 15 years but even then he passed away so early in life even for a moment you don't think i shall also pass away this very moment any time death may come and therefore it is said worship god think of him think of the eternal भज गोविंद भज गोविंद गोविंद भज मूढ़मते संप्राप्ते सन्निहिते काले नहि नहि रक्षति डुकृंकरणे डुकृंकरणे इज संस्कृत ग्रामर इट मींस बाय इंप्लिकेशन एनी काइंड ऑफ सेक्युलर नॉलेज your knowledge your study your great scholarship everything will be simply reduced to nothingness the moment you die so mudha mate o stupid fellow o foolish fellow deluded fellow govindam bhaja worship god worship god grihita vakeshesu mrityuna dharmam acharet you practice religion you go for worshiping god cultivating higher spiritual thoughts 
shastras, scriptural study, meditation and so on, as if death is catching hold of your hair. Any time may be lifted away from this world. So, grihita yavakeshu, mrityuna by mrityu, dharma macharet, practice religion, practice spirituality. Sesha asthiratva michanti kimascharya matapparam. Then Yaksha asks another question. Ka varta? What's the news? <laughs> we meet somebody after a very long time. E kya khabar hai kya? What is the news? Then <laughs> very interesting answer he gives. Oh, there's wonderful news. Great news. What is that? We have got a new cook. <laughs> His name is very strange. He's called Mahakala, the great time. <laughs> Time, the great devourer and swallower of everything. Kalo Jagad Bhakshakaha. Bhakshaka means who devours, who swallows everything. Jagad Bhakshaka, he simply swallows everything. Kalo Jagad Bhakshakaha, that is Shankaracharya's stotra on Shiva. Shiva Paradakshamapana stotram. So we have a cook called Maha, Maha Kala. And as soon as he came, he wanted to purchase a huge cauldron. We call it Kodai. Huge cauldron he wanted to purchase in which he wants to bake things, he wants to fry things. What is the name of that? Maha Moha. <laughs> Great delusion. And what is the fuel he is using? Surya Agni. There is a fuel. And the indhana, which is using the firewood, ratri and deva, day and night. Using the day and night as firewood and the fuel, which is sun and fire, and what are the instruments, a huge spoon which is required. If you want to cook something, you have to constantly stir it with a big spoon. It's called darbi. <laughs> Masa and rutu are the darbi. Months and seasons. Months after month rolls on. And every season goes on and on and on. Dinayamin yosayam pratah Shishiravasanto punarayata Kalah kridati gachatyayu Tadapina munchatyashavayu Bajago windam, Bajago windam, Go windam, Bajamudhamate. Samprapte sannihite kale nahi nahi rakshati do krinkarane. Day passes into night, night again breaks into day. Dinayam and yo, sayam prata, evening and morning. Shishara vasanto punarayata. Then you have rainy season, it is followed by Winter is followed by summer. Seasons constantly come and go. Kala kridati, time is playing. Kachati ayuhu, your ayu, your age is increasing and constantly the entire body is moving towards decay and death. Art is long and life is short. Life is fleeting. Though our hearts, stout and brave, still like muffled drums are beating funeral marches to the grave. Longfellow, the psalm of life, Jivan Gatha. 
all this long study literature philosophy scriptures go on studying there is no end to it time is fleeting so what do you do so many hundreds of thousands of varieties of subjects you need to learn what do you do therefore it is a choose don't waste your time on things which are not useful for your spiritual growth swami turiyanand ji gave a simple formula read only things written by a man of realization of god don't waste time reading too many things anant shastram bahuveditavyam alpascha kalo bahavascha vighnah yat sarabhutam tadupasitavyam hamso yata kshirami vambu mishram beautiful uh, poem in sanskrit anant shastram knowledge is endless bahu veditavyam hundreds of thousands of things are there to know alpascha kalo bahavascha vighna the time is short and the obstacles are too many we started classes and with great enthusiasm so many people used to come and attend suddenly you have this corona virus people can't get out of their homes people can't move around people can't attend classes of course the human mind is extremely intelligent we found it a way through technology <laughs> you have the youtube you have uh, zoom you have google meet you have chat some however that you connect to one another may not be physical but through technology you call it the virtual meeting and virtual classes <laughs> this virtual is called maya maya is not unreal it is real but not fully totally real i am talking to you and listening to me or seeing me is it unreal no you are listening you are seeing me so it is called virtual reality the virtual reality is the reality of maya art is long time is fleeting death is knocking at your door bhutan kal bachati iti varta this cook called mahakala is cooking all beings <laughs> frying them cooking them for eating <laughs> pachati this is the great news asmin mahamohamaye katahe surya agnina ratri divindhanena ma sartu darbi parighattanena bhutane kalav pachati ti varta what wonderful stories shlokas in the mahabharata this is the varta this is a great news so this baddha jeev the fish which is caught in the net and thinks that it is safe like us foolish stupid people we think we are safe and we enjoy life and now i'm tired let me confine to my room most of the time i spend in the kitchen cooking this eating that watching the television playing cards how strange people have so much of time at their disposal can't move out don't have to move out they are asked by their office asked by the college or the university please don't stir out of your room stay put safe plenty of time at your disposal we say no i have no time at all i have to do online classes i will do this i will do that and whatever time you have keep on chatting talking discussing with people cooking newer and newer things eating wasting time in playing cards and playing so many different games watching the television time goes and death is knocking at the door every day you are moving towards death though our hearts are stout and brave still like muffled drums are marching funeral marches to the grave 
every heart beat that you have like a drum beat and somebody is being taken to the grave the funeral march they have a huge drum and keep beating the drum there's a drum beat is indicative of the funeral march and the poet says every beat of your heart is a drum beat which is the funeral march march to the grave <laughs> we need not be frightened but this is the reality this is the truth we just don't have the time time is running out kalav pachati iti vartha shankaracharya therefore says kalo jagad bhakshaka ayurnashyati pashyatam pratidinam याति क्षय यौवन प्रत्यायांति गुनर्न दिवस कालो जगदक्षक लक्ष्मीस्तोयतरंग भंग चपला विद्युच्चल जीवित तस्मागत शरणद ओ लॉर्ड शिवा रक्ष रक्ष प्रोटेक्ट मी प्रोटेक्ट मी अधुना नौ वै आयुर नश्यति पश्यता आई एम जस्ट सींग एंड टाइम इज फ्लोइंग आई एम इंक्रीजिंग इन एज सडनली आई रियलाइज आई बिकम ओल्ड माई टीथ आर फॉलोइंग डाउन एंड आई कैन सी प्रॉपरली आई कैन ईट एंड डाइजस्ट माई फूड आयुर नश्यति पश्यता प्रतिदिन याति क्षय यौवनम माई यूथ so proud we are of our youth my eyes my hair is still, still black i can still see properly i can walk straight how young handsome beautiful you are ah you look so handsome so youthful yeah i am still quite youthful pratidinam yati khayam yavanam yavanam is decaying your youth is decaying every moment the day which has gone will never come back pratyayand punarna divasa that days which are gone will never come back vidyut chalam jeevitam the whole of your life is like the flash of a lightning suddenly it flashes and goes away and wealth money property lakshmi stoya taranga bhanga chapala lakshmi wealth it is like waves and water <laughs> and the water suddenly there are waves next moment it is gone vidyut chalam jeevitam tasmad therefore he sharanada o lord giver of refuge vam raksha raksha adhuna give me refuge who am i sharanagatam i have taken refuge in you tasmatvame vasharanam mam adina bandho swami ji wrote this hymn to be sung every day during the aratrikam evening vesper service by everybody all over the world you may talk big but you are helpless time is simply devouring you so come on rush rush sri ramakrishna told swami niranjanananda niranjan din jaire kokhon ishwar lab korbi niranjan days are passing away when will you realize god that means when you will become serious about spiritual life baddha jeev bound soul does not even know that he is bound is happily caught in this net so he says vishaye aashakt hoye thake bhagwan ke bhule thake bhule ho bhagwan achinta kare na even by mistake he does not think of god <laughs> baddha jeevera is explaining in detail what are the characteristics of a bound soul baddha jeevera संसारे कामनी कांचने बद्ध हो हाथ पा बांधा दोज आर बोन्ड सोल्स आर कॉट इन द संसार इन दिस वर्ल्डलीनेस 
Kamini Kanchana. Repeatedly uses this phrase. Kamini is not exactly a woman. We will make a mistake if we think Kamini is a woman. The seducive aspect of a woman, which makes a man, a worldly man, lose himself in infatuation. And when Sri Ramakrishna used to talk to women, he used to say Purush Kanchana. It's a peculiar way in which God has designed this world, Mahamaya. Paranchi khani vitrunat swayam bhus tasmat parang pashyati nantaratman. Khani indriyani paranchi has made all the indriyas outward going. Tasmat parang pashyati and therefore it sees outside. It does not turn inward. Some rare people, Kastyadhira, Pratyagatmana Maikshad, he turns his indriyas inward, Avrita Chakshu, all the indriyas, Shabdas Parsharu Parsa Gandha, Chakshu Karna Nasikatva Gikhwa, he focuses inwardly on the Atman, inward self. Why? Amritatva Michan, desiring immortality. The Swayambhu, the Mahamaya, has made everything outgoing. You know for certain this is not good for you, but still you go. Arjuna raised this question in the Bhagavad Gita in the third chapter. Arjuna vacha atha kena prayukto yam papam charati purusha anichanna pivarshneya baladivan yojitaha Oh Lord, how is it that the person is helplessly drawn to the path of sin. Impelled by what does a man tread the path of sin? Anichannapi, even though he does not want, perhaps he is reluctant, but still helplessly he is moving towards that. What is that? Shri Bhagavan Vacha, the Blessed Lord said, Kama yesha krodha yesha rajo gunasa mudupavaha Mahashano mahapapma vidhye namihavai rinam It is kama, it is krodha. Kama and krodha, lust and anger are just the same thing reversed. When lust, desire is stopped, is restrained, is held back, Immediately you get angry. Remember, a person who is given to terrible temper, anger, that person also will be lustful. Kama and Krodha are two deadly enemies which are responsible for a person treading the path of sin. That is Sri Krishna's answer, verdict. So he is discussing the characteristics of bound souls. Kamini kanchane asaktohe thake. Attached to the indriyas, senses. Here kamini means the seducive aspect of a woman. That aspect which makes a man forget his higher self. The infatuation. You can see even people holding very, very high positions in society, highly honored, highly, highly revered, even the so-called holy men, how infatuation of karma comes and kills them. Terrible it is. Mahamaya is very terrible. So Sri Ramakrishna says, take refuge in Mahamaya, tears in your eyes with folded palms and your ego completely completely smashed, cry and pray to the Lord, O oh Lord, save me. Sri Ramakrishna taught us how to pray, so touching. Tears used to come to people who heard this. Karuna Makha Shore Likhaji. With a tone which is tinged with infinite tenderness and pathos. Poignancy. Ma mitomar sharanagata sharanagata. Deha shukha chainama 
लोकमान्य चाइना अष्टसिद्धि चाइना केवल एक रोजन सोमार श्री पाद पद में शुद्धा भक्ति हाय निष्काम अमला अहितु की भक्ति आर जनों मा तुम्हारे भुवन मोहिने माया ए जन मुग्धा ना हुई तुम्हार माया र शंकरेर कामने कांचने रूपर भाला भाषा जन कक्कर ना हुई माँ तुम्हार भाई आमर आर क्यों ना ही अमी शादन ही इन भजन ही इन ज्ञान ही इन भक्ति ही इन तुम्हार श्री पादपद में आमाए भक्ति दाव लॉर्ड्स प्रेयर एस द बाइबल दे से गिव अस दिस फादर इन हेवन गिव अस दिस डे और डेली ब्रेड इत्सेट्रा एवरी डे क्रिश्चियंस चैंड दिस लॉर्ड्स प्रेयर दिस इज द लॉर्ड्स प्रेयर इन द कसम ब्रता मेमोराइज दिस in any language you like, in very simple Bengali, this is originally memorize it and chant it every day. Ma, ami tomar sharanagata, sharanagata, mother, I have taken refuge in you, I have taken refuge in you. Deha shukha chayna ma, I do not want bodily comforts and pleasures and senses. Loka manna chayna, I don't, I don't want fame, I don't want name. I don't want khyati. I don't want to be lauded by the world. Ashtashiddi China, the various miraculous powers, the eight great powers. Ashtashiddi China, keval ehi koro, please do only this much. Tomar Sri Padapad me shuddha bhakti hai. Let me have pure unalloyed devotion at your lotus feet. आर जानो माँ एंड अगेन तुम्हारे मायार शंकरेर कामिनी कांचने रूपर भालबाशा जना कोखर ना होए लेट मी नॉट बी इन्फेक्टुएटेड ड्रॉन लेट मी नॉट बी लेट मी नॉट लव द सेंसेस योर डिवाइन माया कंप्राइजिंग कामिनी कांचना लस्ट एंड ग्रीड let my mind not be drawn to that infatuation, Mother. Please protect me. Kamine kanchane rupa amar bhala parra jana kakhar na hai. Why? Ma toma boy ar kiu nai. I have nobody, Mother, except you. You are my only refuge. Ami bhajan hin, shadan hin. I do not know how to worship you, bhajana. I do not know how to do sadhana, austerities, penances, japa, meditation, jnana heen, bhakti heen. I have no knowledge, I have no devotion. Tumar Sri Pada Padme Shuddha Bhakti Dao. Give me pure, unalloyed devotion to your lotus feet. What a divine prayer. It is there in the Gospel, it is there in the Kathamrita. Memorize this, repeat this, think of this, contemplate this. Kamini Kanchane Ashakto Hei Thakke Baddha Jeev They are drawn to the senses and they are happy about it. And they rejoice in the senses. So tell your mind, oh mind, what is there in rejoicing in Kamini Kanchana, in woman and gold, in lust and greed? A little pleasure that you get there is nothing compared to the infinite joy that you get at the lotus feet of the mother. Be like a bee which sits on the lotus of Kali's feet, Shama's feet, and drink the divine nectar and don't go and sit on small flowers called the senses, sense objects, and sip that honey. You have divine madhu. Majlo Amar Manu Brahmara Shama Pada Neel Kamale Shama Pada Neel Kamale Kali Pada Neel Kamale Majlo Amar Manu Brahmara Very favorite song of Sram Krishna. He used to sing it very often. Kamala Kanta. He said, oh mind, 
comparing the mind to a bee, Manu Brahmara, Brahmara is a bee, Siddha honey, the divine Madhu, in the Kalipada Neel Kamale, in the blue lotus of Kali's feet, Shama Pada Neel Kamale, in the blue lotus of Shama, divine mother's feet. <coughs> Vishaya madhu tuchcha holo kamadi kushum shakale majlo amar manu brahmara Vishaya madhu tuchcha holo the madhu the small amount of honey that you sip in the various sense objects Kamani Kanchana Shabda Sparsha Rupa Rasaganda. You listen to some music and you feel happy. Shabda Sparsha. Your touch, hugging and touching, some pleasure you get out of it. Rupa by seeing beautiful farms. Rasa by tasting various things. And Gandha by fragrance. Entire world is run by this Shabdas Parsha Ruparsa Gandha. Scent industry <laughs> is billion dollar industry. How many different varieties for enjoyment? <laughs> Swamiji said beautifully, Vivekananda, he says, In the West, you are experimenting how much a man can possess. In India, we have experimented how little a man can possess. <laughs> In the West, if somebody says, I want to enjoy this world, 100,000 opportunities will be presented to him. Come on, enjoy this way, that way, and so on. In India and in the West, somebody says, I want to renounce and go. There will be nobody who will be supporting him. In India, if somebody says, I want to enjoy this world, all doors will be shut. No scope for enjoyment. And if somebody says, I want to go to the top of that mountain, look at the tip of my nose for the rest of my life and fast and meditate, hundreds of people will be following him with food and clothes. You support tapasya, you support austerity, you support renunciation, you support unworldliness. That's India. And in the West, they support worldliness different types of enjoyment, varieties of uh, enjoying this world. <laughs> Fundamental difference. The whole Indian psyche is oriented towards giving up, tyaga. Even a child will say, what is there in this world? Even a man in the street will say, are jagat mein kya hai, trikal mein kuch nahi hai jagat mein. There is nothing in the world to enjoy. Ishwari is Satya hai. God alone is true. It is there in our DNA, it is there in our genes. We have been taught, we have been nurtured, we have been groomed with this idea from childhood. Generation after generation, millennia upon millennia, this one thought of worldliness, otherworldliness, renunciation, tyaga, and rejecting worldly enjoyment and getting absorbed the divine joy of God's beauty and power. That's India. <laughs> That's why he says, but the Baddha Jiva does not understand all this. Baddha Jiva ra shangshare kamani kanchane baddha hoya ache hathpa badha. Their hands and feet, they are tied, they are helpless, slaves to their senses. We talk about freedom. Now, so much of talk about freedom, rights. What rights do you have? Your divine right is to assert your immortality as the divine spirit. That is your birthright. What kind of freedom you want? You want freedom from the senses or you want freedom of the senses? Freedom of the senses binds you. You let your senses free 
and the senses go out like wicked horses in a horse carriage. That is a simile given the Katha Upanishad. Tushtashvaiva Sarathe. Hey. The Sarathe is the Buddhi, and the Buddhi is uncontrolled, unfocused, cannot determine what is right and wrong, confused, and all the horses. They don't obey him, obey him, and then take the carriage and just crash, crashes somewhere. This is freedom of the senses. Most of us in society who shout, "I want freedom," you want freedom of the senses. But those who seek freedom from the senses, they will conquer their own body and mind and senses. What kind of freedom do you have? We are all slaves to our senses. My eye says, see this. There's a television, there's a movie, whole night you watch this. There's a compulsion of the senses which simply drag my mind into that and I slavishly follow it. My eyes is, say, watch this. Drishya, Rupa, my ear says, hear this song. Whole night, you hear some music and dance around, tired. Sparsha, my skin says, you tickle your nerves through various kinds of touches, enjoyment. Rasa, go on eating this and that, taste. I'm a highly diabetic, but I want to taste mangoes and rasagullas. In spite of knowing that it is detrimental to me, my senses will not allow me. Come on, go. Taste. Gandha. Smell. Shabda, Sparsha, Rupa, Rasa, Gandha. These senses are dragging me outside. Like a slave, I am running behind them. My mind is not under control and I call myself a free being. I am an independent person. I want freedom. I am cheta. In Bengali, it's a very common phrase. I am independent. I am fiercely independent. I have my own opinion. I have my own life. I don't want all this. Nobody can control me. What kind of freedom you have? Your senses are making you dance to their tune. Being a slave to your senses, helplessly dancing to their wicked tunes, you call yourself free. He conquers all who conquers self. Swami Vivekananda said this in the Song of the Sanyasin. He is the great conqueror who has conquered his own self, his own lower self. Uddhared atman atmanam atmanam avasadayet atmaiva hyatmano bandhu atmaiva rupuratmanaha Raise yourself by your own self and do not demean yourself. I am a human being. I am an enlightened person. I am an educated person. I should not degrade myself. You are your own friend. You are your own enemy. There is nobody who is dragging you down. You are dragging yourself down. Bandhuratma atmanastasya enatma evatmana jitaha. Atmana jitaha, jita atma. One who has conquered his own self. Vijita atma, jita atma. These words are used so many times in the Bhagavad Gita. Indriyan indriyarthe bhistasya prajna pratishthita. A person who has withdrawn. Is Indriya the senses from the Indriya Artha, the sense objects? He is a man of steady wisdom. He is a man of Brahmagyana. This is Brahma Pratishtha. Esha Brahmi Sthiti, established in Brahman. Who is he? Was completely conquered his senses and withdrawn his senses from the sense objects. 
So the freedom that we normally seek in the world is slavery. A person who has conquered his own self is free. Hatva Badha, he is not free. He thinks he is free, he may have money, he may have a position, he may have power, but once the position goes away, he is a nobody because his own worth is zero. <laughs> he is adding imaginary and false objects onto himself, thinking them to be worthy. His position is worthy, his wealth is worthy, his uh, knowledge is worthy, but nothing is worthy. You are not established in your own higher self. We gain so many things from outside, but we have lost our own soul. Carl Jung, the famous psychologist who was a disciple of Freud and broke away from him, he wrote a book, Modern Man in Search of a Soul. <laughs> What is the modern man searching for? He is searching for his own soul. He has lost himself. Jesus the Christ famously said, What if you have gained everything in the world, but you have lost your own self? <laughs> That's why Bhagavad Gita says, Possess your own self. There is a very significant phrase in the Bhagavad Gita called Atmavan. Very interesting phrase. Called Matuprataya in Sanskrit means possessing, having. A person who possesses dhana, wealth, is called dhanavan. A person who possesses qualities is called gunavan. So, Atmavan means a person who possesses the Atma, possesses the Self. Very interesting. Don't we all possess our own selves? No. It appears as if we have ourselves with us, but our selves are all gone, invested, hopelessly moving away from the center of gravity, which is my own Self, into hundred thousand attractions of the world. <laughs> when we were young, we possessed ourselves. Quietly sitting, a child doesn't need company. I don't know whether you've seen, watch the children playing. They'll sit by themselves, they'll play, then they uh, If you watch it, say, hey, don't watch me, go away. They just don't need company. And therefore, everybody wants a child's company. <laughs> Very strange. When Swami told me, beautifully, Swami Bhajananda Ji, what a wonderful conception he gave me that has stuck to me and elevated me so much. He said, you see, a child is just self-possessed. Maybe out of ignorance, it is simply finding joy in itself. It is Atma Rama finding rest in itself, Atma Rata, absorbed in himself, of course out of a veil of ignorance is there. If we possess ourselves, everybody will be attracted to us. If you want to attract people, the best and the easiest way is not to go out but be completely absorbed in your own self, higher self. They are called Atma Rama. Look at a person sitting quietly. Look at a picture of Holy Mother Sharada Devi. Ordinary housewife on the outside. Her face, her movements, her talks. So attractive and so sweet. Look at Sri Ramakrishna in Samadhi. Completely absorbed in his own higher self. Immediately he attracts you. The moment you begin to invest yourself in something outside, you become empty. And when you make yourself empty, nobody is attracted to you. <laughs> Only when you are full, you get to attract people. When you are empty, people know there is no point in going to you. You are yourself empty. Oh, that fellow is invested himself 
in too many places. <laughs> when we grow up, from completely being self-absorbed and self-possessed, we start investing. When we reach teenage, we invest in our friends, invest, invest in our in women, in, invest in worldly attractions, and invest in bank, money, credit card, Android phone, laptop, computer, tablet, all kinds of gadgets, and in your position, your packages. Now the latest management term is, what's the package that you are getting? They don't talk about salary. And the package, 10K, 15K. <laughs> Hundred K. This is the package. <laughs> so you are proud. So you have invested your soul in hundred thousand attractions outside of you. So what? Where are you? You are in the hundred thousand things, and you yourself per se in your own center of consciousness are just empty. So nobody is attracted to you. <laughs> you feel lonely. You run around with people. You want to talk to them. You want to interact with them. You want to um, have friendship with 100,000 people. You, Facebook, Twitter, blog. <laughs> How many varieties of Mahamaya's <sighs> attractions? You can't keep quiet. Then you put something, somebody says like, somebody says dislike, and you block somebody, and then you open somebody else, and then he says something against you, and then something for you. Endlessly you spend time and tears and smiles interacting with people outside virtually. What a terrible maya. Somebody get amazed how people spend their times. We have very, very little time. Where is the time for socializing? At least now we are aging, we are becoming old. Our youth is going away, strength is decaying. Wake up, wake up. This is the message which Ramakrishna constantly gives in the Ramakrishna Kathamrita. We become lonely because we are empty within. And Anybody who seeks others' company is disliked by people whose company we are seeking. Remember the psychological message. If you want to be a source of attraction to others, just stay put within yourself, your higher self, be full. Look at Mother's face. Sharada Devi, she says, Dukho ki jantum na hrde jano shapshumai anandir purna ghod virajaman. I didn't know what was sorrow, as if a pitcher of joy, full of joy, is placed in my heart constantly. <coughs> when you are full, people get attracted to you. When you are lonely, what does it mean? Let us analyze this, loneliness. I go to you for company. I feel very lonely. Come on, let's talk. Let us go for a walk. Let us go for a movie. Let us go to the restaurant and eat something. I want your company. I like you. So when I want somebody else's company, I feel empty. I feel lonely. So I, I'll seek his or her company. What does it mean? I am just alone. I don't, I'm feeling very lonely and upset, unhappy. That means, what does it mean, loneliness? I'm in my own company. I have no other company except myself. That means I dislike my own company. Conclusion, very simple. If I feel upset being lonely, that means I'm upset about my own self. I dislike myself. Now the question is, if I dislike my own company, why should you like my company? Simple logic. 
if I dislike my own company, why should anybody on earth like my company? Therefore, a person who runs behind others' company will always be despised ultimately and disliked by the company that he seeks. Maybe a very harsh truth, but it is true. Very often, very quickly, that company breaks. You weep and she weeps, he weeps, and there's a break. It has to happen. So, if you really want joy and people should get attracted to you, feel happy in your company, just learn to love your own company, which is the company of your own higher self. It's called Atma Rama, one who finds delight and joy and Arama, rest in his own self. Atma Krida, who sports in his own self. Atma Rata, who is absorbed in his own self. Atma Krida, Atma Rati Kriyavan, Esha Brahma Vidam Varishtaha, Pundago Upanishad. Yes, to Atma Tripta, when he is completely satisfied in himself, higher self. Atma Santushta, these are words used in the Bhagavad Gita. Tasyakaryam Navidyate, such a person doesn't have to do anything else. Atma Ratha, Atma Krida, Atma Santushta, Atma Tripta, Atma Priyananda, beautiful name which my Guru gave me. Absolutely unworthy as I am, they carry this name. A person who finds delight, Ananda, in being Atma Priya. Love your own higher self. Don't invest your love in things outside. Invest them in your own self, Atma Priyananda. These are ideas which are given to you for elevation of your own soul. So Sri Ramakrishna says here, Hatpa Badha. That means you bind yourself hands and feet. Nobody binds you. Swamiji says in the song of the Sanyasin, Swami Vivekananda writes, Thine only is the hand that holds the rope that drags thee on. Then cease lament. Let go thy hold, sannyasin, bold. Say, Om, Tat, Sat, Om. You are holding a rope and crying, Oh, the rope is dragging me, rope is dragging me. Rope is not dragging you. Why are you holding it? Let go thy hold. So the whole secret in spiritual life, as Buddha constantly said, let go, let go, drop it. All great men have said, the clinging to life, this thirst for life forever quench, Swamiji said, this thirst for life, clinging to life. You are clinging constantly to something and then saying that something is dragging you. That is not dragging you, but you are clinging, you are holding on. You are helplessly being dragged is because of your attachment. So Sri Ramakrishna says, Baddha Jeev, Hatpa Badha. It's a very profound statement. Om Niranjanam Nityamanantarupam Bhaktanukam Padhra Vigraham Vai Ishavataram Parameshamidyam Idyam Tam Ramakrishnam Shrasa Namamaha Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tatsat Shri Ramakrishna Arpanamastur.